sporting booms. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, skateboarding had more downs than ups. In the last decade, however, it has boomed thanks to increased exposure on TV, in movies, and at special events and competitions. The Ollie. If one single move revolutionized skateboarding, then it has to be the Ollie, also known as the No Hands Aerial. This trick was named after its inventor, Alan Ollie. Gelfand, who was just 16 when he first nailed the move in 1978. The Ollie is a type of jump made without using the hands to lift both rider and board into the air. As word of this move got around, it allowed skateboarders to use curbs, rails, and benches as if they were ramps in skate parks. Inventor of the Ollie, Alan Gelfand, who started skating at the age of 11. Timeline. 1963, first skateboard contest held at Pierre Avenue School, California. 1973, Nasworthy's Cadillac Urethane Wheels go on sale for the first time. 1976, a concrete bowl in London becomes Europe's first skate park. 1978, Alan Gelfand invents the Ollie. 1982. Tony Hawk wins his first competition at the Del Mar Skate Ranch. 1993. World, Scu World Cup Skateboarding Organization formed. 1995. Skateboarding features at the ESPN Extreme Games. 2000. Skateboarding becomes the sixth most popular sport in the U.S. California Skating Dogtown was the nickname of part of Venice, California, where a group of talented skateboarders, including Tony Alva, Jay Adams, and Stacy Peralta, developed their own skating style in the late 1970s. Known as the Z-Boys, this group of skaters was immortalized on screen nearly 30 years later when the film Dogtown and Z-Boys 2001 was released. Tony Alva was one of the original Z-Boys and now runs his own company making skateboards and skating clothes. Back for good. During the lean years of the 1980s and 1990s, a hardcore following kept skateboarding alive. By the mid-1990s, a new crop of teenagers was getting into the sport. Skateboarding got lots of exposure on new television channels and over the internet. The ESPN Extreme Games, now called the X Games, featured skateboarding from 1995 onward and gave the sport huge TV coverage. Skateboarding now plays a central role in X Games events around the world, with skaters regularly performing in front of thousands of people.